Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I'm back yet again for yet another retro shiz look back at the past. And today we're heading all the way back to 1995 for the Toy Biz Iron Man, the animated series line, a couple of deluxe figures. But before we get into that, as you all probably well know at this point, I'm a huge fan of Spider-Man, the animated series. And just underneath that, of course, X-Men, the animated series. The Iron Man animated series, along with the Fantastic Four animated series. We're going to put Hulk off into the corner because the Hulk is like a mixed bag. But the first season of Iron Man, the animated series is, is such a conundrum in and of itself. Don't get me wrong, there are great moments, there's some cool characters, it's a very 90s animated series, but most of the time, it's so boring, and it's like, can something interesting happen? Like, you're Iron Man, for God's sake. Do something fun. You have a chick on your team that can hex things, and you got a spider woman that she shoots webs, but it's always like a net kind of thing the coolest one is century hawkeye's a jerk and actually war machine is the only coherent one on the entire team and then you have tony stark is just all over the place that's why i like tony stark and iron man from spider-man the animated series it's the same character it's the same voice it, it was just short and simple <laughs> but i have to say and we'll have some fun with this. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's all in that group of the 90s animated shows, of which I absolutely love. But let's be honest. Some hold up better than others. But Fin Fang Foom is part of the Iron Man the Animated Series, we'll just say. And one of the figures we're going to be checking out today. So in 1995, Iron Man the Animated Series from Toy Biz, part of the Marvel Action Hour, had a deluxe figure Fin Fang Foom, the dragon, the alien dragon, and it's just a really cool box, and I remember these, I would say primarily from KB Toys, I think that's where I saw most of these in the bins, right, they just had a ton of those, and then secondary would be Toys R Us, wing flapping action, very cool, and he had a little push button on Fin Fang Foom. And for those of you who are modern Marvel Legends fans, especially the retro series, I'm gonna say that this was Harry Moore Designs designs for these Fin Fang Foom directions, so they always look so stellar, and they look stellar to this day. Iron Man, the dragons, Fin Fang Foom, very cool, three dragons. Yes, they will all be in this video. And then you got to look at the Fantastic Four waves and then you had Iron Man as well. You can screen grab this if you want to read up on Fin Fang Foom, at least in terms of the animated series. And that's what we're going to be sticking with today. If we ever look at the build a figure for Fin Fang Foom from Toy Biz, then yeah, we will go the more comic book route, but we're going to stick with the animated series lore, which is all kinds of, you know, <laughs> odd. Again, collect all three dragon action figures and make sure to call that Toy Biz toll free customer service number. But again, just to point out the wing flapping action and that gorgeous artwork. Now, in the animated series, they had the episode, The Origin of Iron Man. It was a two-parter. It's one of those episodes, and of course, I had to go back. I watched it, rewatched it, made sure to get all the details. There's nothing to really talk about in this two-parter. It's Iron Man uh, just kind of watching a holographic projection of his memories while his... Iron Man suit recharges because he's trapped in a, in a glacier, but he was in a volcano to begin with. It's insane. He gets attacked by Fin Fang Foom because the Mandarin uh, makes him. But then the, the Fin Fang Foom requests something of the Mandarin, and then you find out towards the end of the second part of the episode that he just wants some mechanical dragons that Modok and the Mandarin built. And thus we have the first mechanical dragon, which was not named in the show. It was just the gold dragon. It's Arius. And yes, it is named as the gold dragon here. Again, stellar artwork all over the box. Very eye-catching, all those purples. It's just the Toy Biz magic in general. But you can screen grab this if you want to read up on Arius, which as far as I know, these are only created for the animated series. There were other dragons from Fin Fang Foom's race in the show, but 
it doesn't pertain to these. These are the mechanical dragons that Modoc created. So there you go. <laughs> you can treat them as such if you like. Again, I like all the diagrams, shows you the wings, what this figure will do. Now for all you history buffs out there wondering, well, Arius, I've heard that term once or twice. Well, the gold coin of ancient Rome, which was valued at 25 pure silver denarii, which yes, silver will come up in just a second, but that particular coin was called the Arius. It's a gold coin from Rome. So there you go. They're naming them in terms of history. Nice factual learning move there, uh, Iron Man, the animated series. So to go from fireball spitting action of Arius to now uh, the silver dragon Argent, which again, very cool artwork. All the graphics, all the design. You can screen grab this to read up on Argent, which Again, he has some other abilities. If you read the bios, you, you get an idea, but none of that happens in the actual animated series. You never see the dragons again, at least these two, right? Like I said, you'll see other dragons later, but they're real as opposed to these mechanical creations. And yeah, it's, just, it's like, okay, cool. Thanks, animated series. You get the diagram showing the wings. You have some... Awesome arm firing action. And yeah, I just, again, think that that artwork looks beautiful. That just really is eye catching. And I think that's why nowadays, that's why I like such hand created artwork when I see new toys like the recent Street Sharks. And as far as the name Argent, but you can take it from the Latin word Argentum, which can translate into silver or a white metal, or you can say Argentium Silver, which is a brand of modern tarnish resistant silver alloys. You know what, forget about all this. I, I feel like I put most of you to sleep so far. Let's look at these dragons. So. This is gonna be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot retro cup of coffee. This is a look back at the Toy Biz 1995, The Dragons, Fin Fang Foom and his mechanical cohorts, Arius and Argent. Here we go. And so now here is Fin Fang Foom all out of the packaging and out of the packaging for years he has been, so just pretend but this figure this more deluxe figure in terms of toy biz is just a real gem and still holds up to this day it's quite a very cool looking figure what i like most about it is that it represents the iron man the animated series it's pretty close to what you see for fin fang foom as he's drawn the various greens help this figure stand out helps break the character up especially all the fantastic details from toes to nose the head portrait on fin fang foom is cool. I love the white teeth. You got the pink tongue, the red eyes. He has some momentum in the neck with all those spikes leading down to his back, his wings, his tail. It's very cool. The wings are a different color. They're a little bit different from the green of the body, obviously, but it does help break it up. It's very much a toy. It's the same thing with the tail. You have the underneath part that goes to the front, the legs, his big old clawed hopper feet with the knees. All beautifully sculpted, very simplistic articulation, of course, with the legs, the knees, the arms, but it works. It has a charm to it that still holds up to this day. Has even a little bit of a tail articulation going on as well, sculpted beautifully. Love the spikes. It's just an overall very cool, very textured out figure. He's got peg holes on the bottom. You see it's stamped 1995 Toy Biz, but Everything that should be painted is painted, we'll just say, even down to his yellow fingernails, which that's a nice standout. And the hands are very unique, almost Jack Kirby, right? They have that little nuance in the hands and the fingers, and I totally dig that. Now, they did take liberties for the animated series, but hey, it still pertains to the idea of Fin Fang Foom, and it's just an overall very cool looking action figure. Now, on the backside with the wings is a button, and you push it and he flaps his wings, and that's his big action feature, which isn't too crazy. It's very subtle, but it flaps the wings, and the wings are very cool. And as I'll say throughout this entire video with each of the dragons, 
be very careful with the wings. They are removable. Most of them go in no problemo on all the dragons, but I wouldn't push it, especially for an aging toy like this. So if you are interested in having a Fin Fang Foom in your modern Marvel Legends collection, yeah, I would say that this guy definitely holds up. I think he looks good. The greens, the pose, everything about him. He's still a solid Foom. And next up, we have the silver mechanical dragon known as Argent. And I would say that, yes, he definitely lives up to his name. He is a very imposing dragon. And much like Fin Fang Foom of the larger style deluxe toy biz figures, very simplistic articulation, but just one heck of a cool design. And in the face especially, the fins, the mouth, the glowing red eyes with a little hint of yellow to them, really does make him an imposing action figure while also being very fun. It's a very fun looking toy through and through. I love the big fins. I love how the colors break it up from the silver, various degrees of silver to his horns, which I would say just be very careful with. It is an aging toy, so always keep that in mind. I know that's what's kind of, ah, man, as we get older, so do the toys that we love. Down to his mechanical feet, which very much reminds me of Mechagodzilla. In fact, the entirety of Argent has that vibe to him while still being his own. The wings are very cool, very much a silverish Argent type of material, and I totally like how that differentiates it between the chrome, the silver, the wings, and then the various other parts and pieces that make him up. In fact, if you look at his hands, he kind of looks like he's wearing the Mandarin's rings. Now, in terms of the face, he has that basic head turning articulation on the neck. The arms will go up. You have some wrist articulation, which just spins nothing at the elbow. And then on this side, you have a very cool spring loaded mechanism action feature, which you just pull back on this lever and it fires out his hand. It's certainly not gonna be the most powerful rocket firing hand in your collection, but it certainly is interesting. And for that alone, I appreciate it. And the fact that it still works all these years later. I like the dry airbrushing from various parts on his stomach down to the knees, which have very simplistic articulation. Argent out of the three dragons is one of those where you have to get the feet just perfect to really get him in a stable balancing position. That's one thing about this figure. He could be kind of side to side more so than anything, but I love the neck on this guy. The chromed out neck, the arms, it gets him in that flying position. That is just very cool. It's fun to see. It's just an added level of articulation, which adds to the fun of having a very cool silver dragon. And finally, last but certainly not least, we have Arius. Now, Arius is sort of a mixed bag. Don't get me wrong. He's the only one that really comes with a true accessory piece in the form of a fireball. Don't get it confused with the Fantastic Four's Human Torch's fireball. It's a little bit different. This one actually fits in Arius's mouth. Arius himself, with all the reflective chrome, to then his brown, plasticky parts, the wings, the fins on his face. He's not exactly the most attractive of the bunch. He's, again, kind of a mixed bag. He has some good parts, especially the chrome. The wings leave a little bit to be desired. How they attach to the back are quite cumbersome. Sometimes I will say don't drop this toy while the wings are attached. These are especially known for the pegs breaking off and then not being able to ever attach the wings ever again. But in what Arius lacks in terms of pizzazz, the chrome more than makes up for it. And I think that for that alone, that just looks great. He's gonna have some basic head articulation, just like the other dragons, some dry brush, some copper down to the gold, down to his feet, which again, will have the same knees, nothing at the feet. Stands a whole heck of a lot better than Argent, I will say that. Go very easy with the arms, with all that chrome, he'll spin at the wrists. He's just very cool, but again, be very careful with the wings. You can see no peg holes on the bottom, which that's not really a problem, but just as a heads up. And with his action feature, of which you take the fireball, load it into his mouth, and pull his neck back, which is spring-loaded, 
and he essentially shoots the fireball, which works kind of sort of. So again, while Arius is not my favorite of the three dragons, he still holds up really well. He's a sight to behold and will make an excellent addition to your Marvel Dragons collection. Now, how do all of these stack up to the original Iron Man animated MODOK and the Mandarin figure? And again, that's what's really appealing about these figures is that they are larger. Now, in the old animated series, size fluctuates from episode to episode. So does coloring, ah, and so does the voice. So Fin Fang Foom and his dragon cohorts will go nicely with MODOK and the Mandarin. And when it comes to Force Works and Iron Man himself, of course, those are all going to look great together. If only they made Wanda so we could complete the team. But I have seen that a lot of you have been asking for me to tackle Iron Man the Animated Series, and I will be doing so. However, while I have recently purchased a friend's entire Toy Biz collection, I don't unfortunately have a lot of the accessories. And that's why I've loved doing all these Retro Shiz episodes over the years, especially my Spider-Man the Animated Series ones, of which, yes, to really do it right, you have to have all the figures, all the accessories, and really give out all this knowledge for people seeking it to really help them in their collections. So circling back to my pitch for all of you out there, if you enjoy my Toy Biz Retro Shiz episodes, of which, I absolutely love doing them. On my channel now, I have membership subscription. You can do two bucks a month for the basic club toy shiz, or I'm starting now the retro shiz initiative. I will be offering member shout outs, member only polls, and early access to upcoming retro shiz videos. I will be asking which waves, which lines, which figures would you like to see me tackle next? In joining my membership program and helping me with creating these retro shiz episodes, you will be thanked and rest assured, every single dime made from this retro shiz initiative will go in seeking out the remaining parts, pieces, weapons, all those little intricate little things that make up these figures so then I can properly create these retro shiz episodes that you all enjoy. So think about it. The retro shiz videos will continue regardless, but it certainly helps me out and I will be more than appreciative and we'll do all the fun member shout outs and all the fun member perks. So I thank you all in advance and that will wrap it up for my look back at the Toy Biz 1995, the three dragons, Fin Fang Foom, Aureus and Argent. And I gotta say, the colors, the chrome, the fun little action features for each of them is timeless. I love, just love the old Toy Biz action figures for the Marvel Universe. You can't beat them. And as you can clearly see, for those of you out there who have been asking for me to tackle Iron Man the Animated Series, rest assured, it is coming. I do have some extra accessories to grab before we can even get to wave one. But yes, it is on the horizon, but I wanted to make this video just to let you know that I appreciate all the comments, all the support, all these years. It has been such a pleasure talking with each of you, talking about and reminiscing about all these old toys. I can't wait to do more of it. We're gonna make these awesome, and I can promise you that. So, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Toy Biz Dragons. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most important, remember, I'm not even joking. If you've not seen Iron Man, the animated series in years, go back and watch it and tell me your thoughts. At least it got better with the second season revamp. My God. And when it does, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.